talking about how good you feel. Was that just the pregame shooting? Was that just all day you felt good? And, and did that um, carry over into the, into the game, I imagine? I think being home after such a long trip or trips uh, helped a lot. And I just felt really good body-wise today. I didn't feel any pain anywhere. And I thought that um, transferred over nicely to the gameplay. How often does that happen when you, you know, don't feel any pain going into a game? Most of the time, but it's 82 games, you're not going to be 100% every night. Yeah, I mean, what did I miss? Maybe three, four games this year? That's incredible after two years of rehab plus. So that's something I can hang my hat on and be proud of, is just being durable throughout the season. Clay, Steve was just saying that um, he thinks not only is this team probably going to finish with a better record than last year, but that it's a better team and that he likes your chances no matter where you end up in this coming week. Um, would you agree with that? Absolutely. Um, How is it a better I'm, team? I'm, um, well... That's to, that's to be determined. We got to obviously advance past the West Semis, but I think we're playing the best ba brand of basketball we've played all season, and I am going to be very confident going into the playing. I'm not saying we're better than last year because we haven't advanced further than that, so I can't say that with as much confidence. Clay, um Jonathan and Brandon were both just in here, and, and they were speaking a little bit along the lines of how whoever's playing or in the rotation or whoever's coming off the bench, it's everybody just believing and in, in doing what you can to help the team win. And, and, and you've been in different positions. Um, how much do you appreciate those guys like Brandon and Looney doing whatever he has to do if it's not being in the rotation for a stretch and, and how important that is to what's going on now with the wins. Um, I appreciate both those guys and especially Loon. Uh, been with Loon for almost 10 years now and he is uh, the ultimate professional basketball player. And uh, yeah, our young guys have been great this season and without them we would not have the chance to enter the playoffs and hit our stride at this moment. So they've been awesome, every single one of them. What do you uh, think of the plan a few years in? And like, you know, if, if this was most of your career, you guys would be, you know, desperately trying to get to eight to get in. But now you're pretty settled. Just well, lucky us. So <laughs> we get a chance to compete in the postseason. And I'm very grateful for that because there was a time where the Warriors made the postseason once in 18 years. So I hope people can be grateful for that, that we have a chance to, you know, chase greatness. Clay, yeah, you moved to the bench for a while and started really getting hot shooting there. And maybe the role kind of helped some settle some things. But now you're back in the starting lineup and you're still shooting really well. Uh, do you think st staying in the starting lineup is the way to go right now? Uh, and do you think you're just on a roll either way, I would guess, as a question? I think I'm playing with a great rhythm right now. And we have become accustomed to how to play with different guys and different lineups. Whether I start or I come off the bench, I'm going to be myself. And I'm going to do everything I can to help this team win games. So at this point in my career, I'm just grateful to be healthy and playing a lot of minutes in the NBA. Clay, throughout the season, the Warriors were, fans were not so sure that you guys were going to make it to where you are right now. Did you ever feel like there was a specific moment in the middle of the season, or the beginning of the season, or towards the end of the season, where you yourself felt that there was a change, and as a team, you felt that there was something pivotal that happened that really changed the future, and now you're into a postseason? I think when we got to Miami, we got to have a beach day. I think that really changed everything. So. And you just get to go to the ocean, and you get to go to the beach, and you get to throw the football, you get to swim, you get to um, just be free and have fun. I think that really just sets your mind free, and it was just so fun to be down there with the guys and just have a day away from the court that really, I think, had us bond well together, and I think that was a huge turning point. How many guys were at the beach day? 
I, I'm sure everyone got their feet in the sand, which is a form of grounding, which is very important. Clay, you mentioned the uh, the amount of games you've played this season, how amazing it is given what you've been through. Does it, yeah, at some point do you think it is amazing, even to yourself, that you've done this? And what do you think it's proven? 